Hey everybody! Welcome back. Oops. Passed up passed by HDMI one. Oopsie. Ugh. Okay. Eleven ten. Is there something you need? <sighs> they seem to be pushing. Ah, oh, damn it. Of course, the army can't do their fucking job. We have to rely on the squad of a few people to save us. <laughs> Rubble, 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 rubble. Ah, crap, it's Captain Fuzzy Collar. Let's do this. Intercept the enemy. Get lost. Who's next? The tides are turning. This looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult because we got shocks and shields. They've got back on. Fuck Who's Captain next? Fuzzy Collar. A scarred on me? No wonder Jutland needs fucking Vanergen to survive. They can't fucking do anything on their own. Are you 
Get out of my way. Vortex. Well, if anything, my little just stock up on Ragnite, Ragnite while we wait for Basil to make some more upgrades. Basil! Basil! You hear me, boy? Oh yeah, kill fucking dudes with snipper whipples. How wonderful. Oh no, it's how wonderful. Our, our army is gaining leverage. Our army is gaining leverage. Are they though? Are they? Wow, the fucking battle level skyrocketed up to 47 our army is gaining leverage eh. Op details are as follows. we have our next mission an elite enemy unit is hiding in the forest at the base of Vosgold and the military intelligence thinks they plan to take back the bridgehead we will approach from the southeast of the forest our goal is to disable the tank squadron do not engage before securing the area. There may be other troops lying in wait. With the main force marching toward Velgrave, it's up to us to handle That's this. Bannergan, move out. So... Dude said he was going to use himself as bait, so if we're fighting the legendary pilot, then yeah. Let's do this. Who's next? What the fuck? Next. What are you looking at? We do not need fucking raid ship troopers. Who's next? 
Mojo. Whoopsies! Now's my chance. Oh, oh. Victory! They've got back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ding ding! Oh. Ready? Watch this! Then allow me to continue. <laughs> yeah, the friggin' story, the mission level fucking jumped up from last time. Didn't really notice. Solomon and Basil acted immediately. They proceeded with only the main force and did not include the Vanagon. But the operation failed. Jutland once again took a heavy blow in that battle. They were both reminded that the only way to take Velgiv was through that aforementioned hazardous path. plagued by dissenting opinions over the war with that operation's failure. Solomon the traitor, who was at the forefront of the pro-war sentiment, became the prime target of criticism. Lord Lindegard wrote about this in his autobiography. He singled out Solomon and denounced him, stating that continuing the war would lead Jutland to ruin. On top of that, he claimed that Solomon joined forces with Basil Sabanchi, the rising star of the Ragnite industry and profited from an industry that was revitalized from the war. He questioned the two's connection, so it states. However, recent studies show that business rivals who didn't take kindly to Basil's rise worked behind the scenes. Perhaps Lord Lindegard was only used by them to their advantage. Meanwhile, Ophelia had been trying to make contact with Violet the traitor. Thank you for coming. I never would have imagined that I'd be summoned by Her Royal Highness. Perhaps I should have run away. I heard from Amlet. You know everything. Why did you want to meet me? Why not him? I wished to speak with you in private, woman to woman. Your attendant Godot also came to see us. Said he wanted to hear our side of the story. Indeed. 
That is why I am following in his footsteps. So I was the first in line. I'm flattered. But I feel a bit restless in here. There is nowhere more private than my own bedchambers. True. I shall cut to the quick. Did something happen recently? Something? Our anti valkyria squad was left out of the prior operation. I do not understand why. The suspected collusion between Councilman Kallenberg and Mr. Savanchi troubles me as well. On top of it all, no one in Bannergan knows why we were excluded from that mission. Things are not progressing as planned, or so I have deduced. In light of my knowledge that all of you are working from the shadows, I ask again, did something happen? You have a good intuition, Your Highness. It's over for us. Pardon? The oath that the five of us made has been broken. Hmm. Well, somebody needs to go get fucking Amleth back in his right mindset. Hello, Your Highness. Good day to you, Blue. Are you alone? Miranda's usually always with you. Indeed. Tis only I today. Is Amleth here? I, I saw him training earlier. Thank you. That was strange. <laughs> Something involving Ant, is it? Dubious. Definitely dubious. I just gotta notice, Bridget always looks like she's about to burst out of her fucking uniform. This is training. <sighs> to act or not to act. That is the question. Bloom said I might find you here. Is it appropriate for a princess to be out on her own? Royalty I may be. But I have fought on the front lines long enough to handle strolling about by myself. Miranda's probably looking all over for you. It is... It is it's fine. I shall cross that bridge when I reach it. You've really toughened up. My apologies. I meant to give this to you many times, but I simply could not. <laughs> this was handed to me by the Nielsen family. They said that they wanted you to have it. Tis a letter Hans wrote to you. Please read it. Wait. Pardon? Stay with me. You do not mind? No. You should read it too. Both as a princess and a soldier. What was written in it? Pride. 
gratitude. How he was happy he could assist Hamlet, and was thankful he'd one day witness the country change. Huh. The runner Hans naturally had no idea that Hamlet the traitor started this war for revenge. That's why he did not waver in his belief that the anti Valkyria squad changed a suffering country. I still can't understand it. War takes lives. How can they feel pride and happiness when they can die at any moment? You could say it was just how it was back then. They all thought about their country, how to make it prosper, what they can do to protect it. Hans wrote that he learned what that meant through Amlet's struggles. Such pure and honest feelings. He's dead because of me. Nay, this is war. Even I could lose my life at any moment. Such is the nature of the battlefield. I see you over there! Feel the emotions poured into every word of this letter? He wanted to thank you, Hamlet. Didn't you allow me to read this because you felt it too? I don't deserve thanks. Not from Hans, not from Godot. Not from any soldier who's died under my command. You blame yourself, then? Of course I do. We didn't start this war for Jutland. We started it for our own selfish need for revenge. What about that should I feel proud of? We're traitors. Traitors leading this country to its very destruction. Miss Sand told me that the five of you have parted ways. You met her? Indeed. She never felt right about it. And you did? Even if it started as revenge, your influence is undeniable. It is because you five rose up that Jutland saw the light. Your friends have led an entire kingdom toward a new era. The soldiers who have died for Jutland did so with pride. Praying that tomorrow would be a better day. Thinking they died merely for your vendetta is egotistical. Do not insult their sacrifice. Our duty is to carry on their last wishes. By seeing this war through to the end. Duty. Should we falter now, those we lost will have died in vain. I would have you take your revenge so that we may usher in a brighter dawn for all of Jutland. Should you still call yourself a traitor even then, the kingdom created in the wake of your vengeance shall serve as your atonement, a vow to our fallen soldiers. I say this neither as royalty nor warrior, but as a traitor. Never imagined you'd say anything like this. It is true that some will accuse us of committing an act that is unforgivable. Nevertheless, I wish to fight by your side. Many will condemn your ulterior motives for inciting a war, yet not a single soul enlisted without personal reasons. T'was not for king and country alone that they fought. Hans joined the military to protect his family and to express his patriotic devotion through battle. Vanergind rose up to defend their loved ones and their home, just as the five of you took a stand for what you held dear, even if that meant exacting a terrible revenge. Huh. A nation is a confluence of its citizens' hopes and dreams. I learned that on the battlefield, not in school or court. Just as each individual is unique, so too is every country. Only by respecting national independence as I would personal autonomy can I hope to lead this kingdom. Ruse's true crime is that of imperialism. The notion that one man alone should hold sole dominion over places and people.
They didn't notice them standing. It's not like they were hiding. They were standing out in the fucking open over there. Then again, if it were like Daryl and Jorder, they'd probably be hiding in the fucking grass. Like, right behind them. Everyone. You too, Miranda? Captain, what exactly did you mean by revenge? We overheard the two of you talking. Why, that is... The topic of your discussion was surprising. I brought it up with the others, and Miranda... Well... I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I couldn't hide it any longer. No need to apologize, Miranda. Like you heard, I started this war for personal reasons. I'm sorry I kept this a secret. Oh, is that all? I'll step down, if you want. Running away, huh? No. But you can't fight alongside someone like me, can you? I mean, the Valkyria spoke to me because she... It's connected to our need for revenge. Don't be ridiculous. I won't let you walk away from this. Our squad better be part of the next op, too. Huh? What's with the dumb look? We're waging war. No, it's my... That's your issue to sort out. We all have our reasons for fighting. That's why we agreed to sign up for this mission. If our struggle makes everyone's lives a little better, makes medicine more available, then maybe we can put a stop to any needless loss of life. Yeah. The world's yapping on about liberation and invasion. That's the problem with intellectual types. Them and their reasons. My answer is simple. It doesn't matter what reasons you fight for. I only think of winning for this country. That's all. Big Papa Chop! Oh, I said my piece. The rest is up to you guys. I... I want to fight alongside the captain. I was surprised to learn about all this revenge stuff. But it's no reason to drop you like a bad habit. You're the one who led us to all those victories, Captain. Can't quit now! I concur. I haven't even settled my score with the Empire yet. I trust you, Captain. The strength you show on the battlefield is the real deal. To be frank, we depend on that unyielding presence of yours more than anything, regardless of your motivation. I, uh... Well, as long as Meepy's fine with it, I'm good. You don't have to do this alone, Captain. You can trust us. It pains me to say this, but I holistically hate to lose. So, since I've already been dragged into this muddled mess, I certainly won't stay on the losing side. So that's it. How about it, Princess? Oh, Daryl, thank you. Everyone, you have my gratitude. Thank you. All of you. I'd be lying if I said they weren't conflicted about it. However, the anti-Valkyria squad, for better or for worse, accepted Amlet because of its composition. Half the unit were civilians assembled for their aptitude with Ragnarok. <laughs> so that's why it's, hey, this guy's bum runs a fucking little tailor shop, and this chick's a fucking waitress from a cafe.
You could use MacGuffnium. Here, have but a big choppy sword. Idealistic? Yes, yes, you can say it is. However, don't people believe in idealism and work to make it a reality? The chain of events that started with Hans's letter had a huge impact on Amlet, who was tormented by his guilt. This is a true story. So, maybe Avenger potential will change to something beneficial now? Hello, phone. Are you recharged now? I fucking destroyed that! Meanwhile. The Jutland army valiantly attacked the Cavoltus fortress that was under Victor's command, but was beaten back. As a result, momentum for ending the war further increased in Parliament. Public demand for Solomon's and Basil's questioning had grown enough to warrant the palace's attention. No, don't fucking distract Basil from making my upgrades. Damn it! Lord Cucky Von Cuckerstein! I'm gonna light your long hair on fire. Oh shit, it's August already. Oh, damn, it's <laughs> the end of August. Jutland is wavery. That suits us quite well. According to the Department of Agriculture, winter will arrive earlier than usual. Once the snow comes, it'll be impossible to continue fighting. Shall we use that reprieve to rebuild our armies? No. Now that we have regained Covaltus, we will reclaim all our land since Vonsville. Thanks to this abnormal weather, I will lead the invasion to ensure we do not falter again. Very well. Make it so. Yes, sir. Can't help but notice Maxime's not here. We have placed him on standby. Why is that? He needed time to regain his foot. Regarding Maxime, it appears he went missing several days ago. Can it be? Worry not, Victor. He merely stumbled along the path. He has not lost his way. For no matter how often he hesitates, whatever his doubts, he will always come back to us. Always. Because I planted a bomb in his augmented arm! The next time he tries to whack off with it, boom, it'll blow his dick off! Being too generous can be a problem as well. Is His Majesty misjudging Maxime? Oh, the snow. Yeah, well, when you're invading Ruzi, you better pack some fucking winter clothes. That day, the season's first snowfall was observed all throughout Ruz. Winter had come early, record breakingly so. And it was said to be abnormal weather that happened only once a century. The very next day, Grand the cat General came Victor back. Timoshev of the Imperial Army began his onslaught against the Jutland Domain. Now you see, instead of having discussions in front of the enemy general and letting him get away, you should walk up, plug him in the head with a pistol, and then have your heartfelt discussion. After you shoot Captain Widow's Peak. It's said that the Jutland army kept being overwhelmed by the strength of the Imperial Army. The public opinion of whether Jutland was a liberator or invader also had a negative influence on troop morale. 
Nevertheless, the press continued declaring the dominance of the Jutland army. However, those swayed by accusations of invasion from the neighboring countries lobbied the palace for a ceasefire. Lord Lindegard took this opportunity to promise a ceasefire and said that this was what the people wanted. Light his hair on fire! And the old man with a top hat out of nowhere with an RKO! I use this move on Diablo! Who could have seen this coming? People are starting to question my stories, to think on their own. <laughs> I guess it's always no bad for the media. Anymore. No other country in Europa has the same freedom of speech as Jutland. Then all those bitches from the university come out. I'm here because Princess Ophelia asked me to give you this. The princess? I've delivered one to all of your friends as well. All right, let's all have a private meeting in the princess's bedchamber. What? Well, if Miranda's there and V's there, that's uh, well, I guess. Eh. Amless apparently the nice guy. He'll probably he'll probably sit that one out. Although the princess does have a thing for going down, so she'll probably get DP'd. Wait, what? <laughs> Crazy sex party in the princess's bedroom. What's going on? Big Papa Chops invited too. Hollow if you hear him. <laughs> He'd of course show up drunk. Fast. Yo, long time no see. Upgrade okay. my weapons. About what? There's a lot of talk about you. Let them say what they want to say. How about you? I've been keeping my distance from the paper. Still writing, though. Hey, Vi. I thought everyone would come. I was worried. I'm not the one having a hard time. He is. Speak of the devil. Indeed. It's been a while. It has. You seem tired. A lot of things happen every day. To think we would be summoned by the princess to here of all places. Am. My apologies, everyone. I realize this is much too forward of me. Yet this was the only way to bring all of you back together. Don't look at me. You're the one who called us here. What do you want to discuss with us, princess? I wish for all of you to finish what you have started. Carry out your vendetta to completion. Of course, I do not condone your inciting a war for revenge. In truth, I believe what you have done is nigh unforgivable. However, I also understand that you are human, and that the injustices you've suffered would drive anyone to extremes. The reality is, it would be no exaggeration to say that your vengeance has awoken the rest of us to our own suffering. The weight of an embargo caused us all to stop thinking for ourselves, to surrender to our fate. Yet your desires, selfish though they may be, shattered Jutland's slumber. Had you not stood up to take revenge, I would have given in. The perseverance you've shown by holding on to your anger has strengthened my own convictions as well. We cannot stop the Emperor without every last one of you. 
Reclaim the Sword of Vengeance and own that righteous fury, which emboldened five orphans to take on an empire. Is your blood debt so cheap that you can afford to lower the fist you've so easily raised? So you're saying you want us to keep going, to fight this war, have our revenge? I don't mean to be rude, but they've already lost their will to fight. I'm going to kill the Valkyria. Oh, hey, where the hell did all that internal conflict go? Hearing Miss Maria made me question our need for revenge. What's the point if it meant killing her? And once I started questioning things, I couldn't bring myself to continue. I even started to resent the war. I didn't want to see any more lives sacrificed. But seeing all the reasons the squad had to fight, well, it made me remember my own. But I can't do this alone. I need all of you. Wanna try our luck? There's no need. We're only returning to a path we've already chosen, after all. We each accomplish our respective roles. We decided thus when we began this conflict. Just not solely for revenge. That's right. Now we're cooking. So, is there room for one more in your circle of five? Huh? I accept the treasonous origins of the war. I forgive you. My only wish now is to fight alongside you. Your Highness, you do not have to burden yourself with this. Yes, your acceptance is enough. Is that why you called us here? Works for me. We all got the same goal of kicking ruck ass. Thank you, all of you. There is, however, one problem we must solve before taking the fight to lose itself. You refer to the current state of the country, which is split between invasion and liberation. The division's been affecting the soldiers, too. To enjoy the current prosperity and avoid a return to poverty? Yet to be averse to accusations of invasion. That's the frank opinion of the country as of now. Of course, they're reacting that way since they thought they were doing right under the banner of liberation. But as a result, anxiety is sweeping through the nation. That's the present situation. Jutland took steps toward war because the whole country was slowly deteriorating under the economic blockade. Furthermore, there's the victory at Molda. The country became of one mind for the war effort because of that. Could you leave the matter of the people to me? Jutland's savior. As heir to the throne and as the figurehead of this war, it is something I must do myself. <coughs> hey, Boz, why don't you ask her for her measurements so you can make her a bulletproof dress? And upgrade my weapons! This is Hans! Hans got shot by the Empire! Now he's part of my sword. Others in support of it. The two sides split and opposed each other. Tensions continued. And it was during then. It's the princess! Princess, princess Ophelia! Why is her highness here? Is it fine letting her go alone? It's what she wanted. Still. She's not just a princess. She's also a soldier. She can handle her own. You have a lot of faith in her. I've seen what she can do. <laughs> I have killed many Ruzi soldiers with these hands. Damn, girl. Just throw that bombshell out of nowhere. My memory of the moment I first took a life is so vivid. It makes me shudder even now. Yet I still wish to stand at the vanguard. As a soldier. Because as I face down the enemy, I know that behind me is Jutland, 
our home. Today I come before you as a warrior, not a princess. For our troops are fighting on the front lines as I speak. Many have fallen with hopes and dreams left unaccomplished. Perhaps it was your child, your husband, your friend. But each and every one of them took pride in this country. And those still standing keep marching out of love for you. Why are we at war? What is a nation? Liberation or invasion? Everyone is racking their brains to solve these riddles. But a few short months ago, none of us had the privilege to wax philosophical. We were struggling merely to survive. Even I, from my palace terrace. Today, I no longer think only of how to live until tomorrow. My thoughts reach much further now. I look to Jutland as our children and grandchildren see it. Is it not the same for you as well? War never changes, but war has changed us. We think of what comes after the battle and beyond. We finally have a future. You mustn't be misled by someone else's words. Nevertheless, I will resume my soldierly duties in the name of our nation. And with these hands, I will destroy the enemy for good. I'll bloody them for what I believe in. For this kingdom is on the cusp of a golden age, wherein everyone enjoys freedoms of speech, thought, and action. All of you, just as you are now, you are my pride and joy. You have lent me your ears. Now show me your faces. Please look to me and grant me the strength to keep on fighting. Oh, beauteous azure light that shines so gently, pure and bright across lands of plenty thrives the freedom of countless lives. Dear shield maiden, spear in hand, please grant us the strength to stand. Watching over this fair kingdom, tis our one and only home. Oh, heaven. But she didn't make it all blue and glowy. Love was enhanced. Ah, fear was enhanced too. Let me guess, now it's gonna cost fucking 60, probably. Because last time it went from 20 to 40. That was most impressive. Although I was surprised when you opened with how you slew a Ruzi soldier. I merely gave voice to my honest feelings. It will force the people to think about this country, about this war. Now, Amlet, all that remains is to defeat the Ruzi Empire. You sure you're okay? With us, I mean. Whether or not you are a necessary evil, you are surely the lesser of two. Let us think only of victory for the nonce. Don't disagree with you there. I'll reserve judgment until after we win. Will that suffice? If you say so, your highness. Saul, you and Baz both have your own problems to take care of, no? Yep. Like the princess said, let's focus on winning for now. Have you gotten a hold of something regarding the situation with Basil and I? I think I know who's responsible. Those business tycoons play for keeps. You really want to show your hand when the deck's stacked against you? Let's just say they didn't make their fortunes completely above board. I have a few cards up my sleeve. What are the odds? Let's see how they feel about me writing a story on their shady business dealings. Be ready for a fight. <laughs> Count me in. Violet. 
please investigate any leads concerning the Grand Generals. About that. Victor continues to take command at the front line. As for Galoosh and Prince Laertes, no sightings lately. You're sure? Yes, the information checks out. Grand General Victor. We faced him at Belgia. He won't get away this time. I won't falter again. I'll finish what we started. Liberate Jutland and usher a new age of prosperity to this country. I'd like to see that. Solomon, you suggested we take the minefield before. Yeah. That's how we'll get to Velgia. Hmm? You rejected that because it was too dangerous. Kovaltis is still in enemy hands as well. That's what makes it the smart call. It's the one route they won't expect us to take. There's still a standoff at Kovaltis. I want to keep it that way. It'll be dangerous, but this is our best bet. That's what... If it's landmines, that's what we have fucking tornado for. Better get going. Ditto. Hey, why did the minefield just explode and why is there a tornado out there? I'd like to confirm something with you. Sure, of course. It'll be even better if it comes with wine. Let's regroup with the others. Yes, let's. I truly am grateful, Amlet. You've given me strength. How do you mean? Battling by your side has shown me how to be strong. In the real way. Huh. I wonder if they just said they executed them and they, like, let them go. Ah! Avenger has awakened and transformed into Jutlord Chiro! And Warrior Princess has turned into Jutland's savior. Although, considering how many times she likes dropping in the middle of a group of soldiers, it's more like Slutland's savior. Boy. Well done. Do we have any new kind of supplies? Yeah, you f fuckers. Fucking wasteful motherfuckers. And of course, Boz didn't upgrade my weapons! Oh crap. Well, it doesn't really matter. They'll wind up using 20 of the fucking things in the next mission. Alright, we got like. Headquarters Our army is gaining leverage. Holy shit, you're actually gaining leverage? Ooh. Logistics Hub Raid 2. Army is gaining leverage. Our army is gaining leverage. I'm amazed that they're actually gaining leverage. Because usually it's like, hey! Look, it's the army! They're losing horribly because Van Ergen isn't there to hold their fucking hand. Oh no! What's going on? Oh, it's the big bad Rusey Empire. Oh no, we're getting rolled back constantly. Maybe strapping Hans's corpse to the sword isn't the best. Maybe we'll just use him as a battle standard. It's oh! <laughs> nail him, nail him to a fucking metal cross and run there. It's like what the fuck are they doing, Jotland barbarians? They're charging us with a battle standard made out of a dead child. <laughs> Wait a second. Isn't that the one that Terry shot in the last battle? Oh, shit. They're pissed. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you later.